and it is robotic it is it is a machine uh, that that wants to declare war on humanity and that can break any code that can beat any encryption that's actually covered in another science fiction book called demon by uh, daniel suarez which is a really great read but also probably more nonfiction than fiction so this is really well, when you look at the Alex. skynet scenario uh, they've already got the autonomous drones it's all launching humans are being taken out of the equation and undoubtedly because the machines are being built and given the warlike human attributes that it's not a question of if but when yes. it's going to make the decision to take humans out of the equation so that it can be dominant on the face of the earth and this is why in my article I pointed out that America is uniquely positioned, and especially Texas, uniquely positioned to have a kinetic defense against these war robots that might be unleashed one day to actually destroy humanity. And like has been quoted in science fiction novels, we could actually be in a war of biologicals versus the machines. You know, Terminator type of scenario. It's not science fiction anymore. Now, Texans in particular, you know, Texans are, they've got guns and ammo like crazy, you know, and, and, uh, and Piers Morgan isn't even going to be around anymore to, to complain about it, thank goodness. Uh -huh. <laughs> so uh, Texans could actually possibly defeat robots in a physical war where other countries that don't have a, a built-in infrastructure of self-defense would really be at the mercy of humanoid robots in an AI takeover scenario. So that's something to really think about. I agree with you. The main way they're going to attack is in collaborative efforts with humans because the elite are already designing the computers and the robots to replace humans and they have the medical robots go out with the forced inoculations that have the nanotech viruses that go in and, quote, relieve the stress areas of the brain by actually <laughs> eating the synapses. Lobotomized, yeah. And, and, and so they're going to roll out with a bio bioweapon uh, cutting edge. I mean, that, that'll be the problem facing these robots is they're already going to be interfaced with a weapon system that was anti-human to begin with. And so right. the, so its mission statement is going to be exterminate uh, along the lines uh, of a 21st century uh, Daleks from Doctor Who. It is frighteningly easy to end biological life if you are an advanced AI system that controls nuclear power, water delivery, the power grid. I mean, all, all an AI system would have to do is crash the power grid for six months. That would kill most humans that live in, in the modern world right there without even firing a single shot. So you're right. There, there are vulnerabilities that we have built into our, our modern civilization, some, some real incredible weaknesses. And only a few individuals are really trying to build redundant systems and live off grid and, and have sustainable power supplies and food supplies and self-defense and all of these things. They will be the survivors, of course, but you're right. There will be human collaborators with the AI system who will be promised protection and food and power in order to collaborate with the war against humanity. That's going to happen. And, I, and again, I know this sounds like science fiction, but it's time for us to really seriously consider this because AI is is it's here and it's getting more intelligent with each passing day and the intelligence explosion that that's commonly referred to in AI scientific papers is is also very very real human intelligence cannot uh, expand in a logarithmic fashion like AI can so we better be thinking about this now or we may not be around in a hundred years that's right and the elite can't just wave a wand and say oh well we'll merge with it uh, we're going to be fine, uh, as, as, as Ray Kurzweil and others have said. And, and they've made the decision that this is the way it's going. And again, are building Trojan horse systems of human control into everything for oppression and, and, and control. And so it's guaranteeing that the AI systems that develop will be anti-human. That's the problem, is that anti-humans, anti-human humans, eugenics-based humans, Humans that are wanting to suppress other humans, not empower them, are literally putting their spirit, like Sauron, yeah. into the ring, <laughs> into the computer. Right. The, the, that's the problem. No, clearly there, there's an anti-life agenda in this, and it's, it's not even uh, shrouded in secrecy anymore. Look at the Boston Dynamics robots, which were now purchased by Google, and they taught these robots a game that they call Follow the Leader. Well, it's really a game of Stalk the Human. Because <laughs> they have a guy running through a field and the robot can follow the guy. Well, that's how you chase down and kill humans. You mount 
You know what? That's right. And when the Marines real. train to kill U.S. citizens, they call it a zombie drill. We're right. going to come back and talk about the polio uh, situation with Mike Adams. It's time to kick some ash because cigarettes have met their match. Smokers are switching to Vapriate e-liquid by LaSig because when you kick ash, you kick tar and smelly smoke too. LaSig smokes the competition with real people customer service, a seven-day satisfaction guarantee, and same-day fast free shipping. Become a vapor today at LaSig.com, spelled L-E-C-I-G.com. LaSig e-cigarettes. Kick some ash. Attention gun owners, it's reasonable to assume that at some point you may need to defend your family from an armed attack. But is it reasonable to mount a defense without a strong offense? Infidel Body Armor goes on in seconds, is civilian legal in all 50 states, is 100% made in the USA, is veteran owned, and ships next business day for free. Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com. I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. Ladies and gentlemen, America is more dangerous than ever with 9 million property crimes last year. Crimes are happening every day. Be proactive and protect your home and family. Simply Safe Home Security System helps guard against criminals, thugs, and thieves. Listen, Simply Safe is the absolute best alarm system and company in America today. Here's why. We offer a 60-day money-back guarantee. It's affordable, no contracts to sign, and is built with the latest wireless technology. Simply Safe protects the ones you love the most, even if a criminal cuts your power and phone lines. When you order Simply Safe today, you'll receive a 10% discount along with a free keychain remote. Don't wait. This offer is only valid through February 28th. Take advantage of this special discount offer at GetSimplySafe.com. That's GetSimplySafe.com. Protect your home and family now at GetSimplySafe.com. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you, has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable survival survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same-day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866-229-0927, 866-229-0927, or visit MyPatriotSupply.com for emergency preparedness, self-reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base. Nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. Like an angel, walk like an angel, walk like an angel. I've got a little challenge for you, Sark. A new recruit. It's a tough case, but I want him treated in the usual manner. Train him for the games, let him hope for a while, and blow him away. You got it. I've been hoping you'd send me somebody with a little bit of guts. What kind of program is he? He's not any kind of program, Sark. He's a user. A user? That's right. He pushed me in the real world. Somebody pushes me, I push back, so I brought him down here. What's the matter, Sark? You look nervous. Well, I... 
It's just... I don't know, user, I mean... Users wrote us. A user even wrote you. No one user wrote me. I'm worth millions of their man years. What if I can't? You'd rather take your chances with me? Want me to slow down your power cycles for you? Wait! I need that! Then pull yourself together. Get this clown trained. I want him in the games until he dies playing. Acknowledge. Acknowledge, Master Control. End of line. And we go from fiction to fact as the automated drones have been in the skies for over a decade. Autonomous operating on their own. Now the slaves have been told in the last 12 months that that's going on. Finishing up with the whole robot takeover. I think people are starting to realize this and get concerned. Uh, but Mike, we've only got about four minutes left. I appreciate Mike Adams coming on. Doctors studying polio-like illness flooded with calls. Now there's hundreds of cases. First it was five, then 20, then hundreds of polio-like, but it's not polio. And then I pulled up the articles where most of the paralysis in India and other places is after the vaccines. Here's a headline. Paralysis cases spike in wake of Bill Gates' polio vaccine effort in India. What do you think's behind this, uh, Mike Adams? Uh, it's very clear, Alex. This is a, a, a massive cover-up of paralysis being caused by the vaccines. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at a CNN story, too, here. One of the few times I actually managed to read CNN. But uh, because they're reporting this, this, this lie that they don't, doctors don't know what's causing the illness. Uh, all five children that had been vaccinated, that, that, that had paralysis, had been vaccinated against polio. So time and time again, we see that the vaccine is causing the disease that it claims to treat. Then vaccine pushers and zealots throw up their hands and say, well, we don't know what's causing this illness, but everybody better hurry up and get vaccinated. That's the only defense. So more, more parents get their children vaccinated, more paralysis emerges, and the cycle repeats itself. Alex, it's a, it's a marketing scheme. It's, it's, it's a, a crime against children. It's bad medicine. It's junk science. It's, the vaccine is causing the illness. We see it with measles, measles and mumps also. Every time there's a measles outbreak, if you look at the kids that get infected, it's those who were vaccinated. It's the unvaccinated hey, kids. Hey, my dad has hundreds of patients that have come in over the years saying they got shingles from the shingles vaccine. Absolutely. It's well documented. And look, you take, you take some healthy kids raised in Texas that are raised on a farm with farm animals and they're homeschooled and they're not vaccinated. They're the healthiest kids you'll ever meet. And I've met lots of families like that. And you know what I'm talking about because you know kids like that too. They're super healthy. They're not paralyzed. They're not vaccinated. Vaccines, Alex, well, contain... Well, no. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. But it's just they admit in overseas that it's the polio vaccine paralyzing them, but they don't call it polio vaccine. And I talked to a pediatrician years ago who told me they still give the oral here in East yeah. Austin to the poor kids and oh, yeah. all over the country. Go ahead. Well, you know, the flu shot makes you more susceptible to the flu. Uh, uh, osteoporosis drugs cause osteoporosis. Antidepressant drugs cause depression. Alzheimer's drugs call, cause Alzheimer's. It's, this is the marketing system of big pharma. It is cause illness and then claim to treat it and then repeat. It's so insidious and yet it's so simple, but the cover-up is so immense that the mainstream public isn't aware that they're being used as a revenue generation uh, generating guinea well, pig. Well, it's now come out that SSRIs, industry. something we knew decades ago, are causing cancer, yep. neurological disorders, exactly. uh, more suicide. The, the whole revenue model of the cancer industry is to make sure that people don't prevent cancer and that they don't learn about anti-cancer foods and then wait for them to get cancer, diagnose them, and then treat them for very high profits and bill the federal government, Medicare or state Medicaid programs or Obamacare, make money off of people's suffering and people's disease. That's been the model in medicine now for decades. Uh, and it's going to crash, by the way, because that model doesn't work long term. But until then, a lot of people will suffer. Just like Obamacare is a short-term looting of the economy. Absolutely. With the IRS coming up your bank accounts, now confirmed today on IRS.gov. Mike Adams, naturalnews.com. We'll continue to read your great reportage. Look forward to having you back soon. Thank you, Alex. Thanks for having me on. You bet. There goes Mike. Uh, the police chief should be showing up any minute. Uh, he usually gives us an hour. He's too big shot now. He can only give us 30 minutes. So he'll probably walk in in the middle of the show like he's done before. So uh, we'll uh, see if Arde Saveda shows up here. We're on the...